Hello, this is the Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Phoebus PY032B Leviathan. Let's start off with the wrist check. I'm wearing my Pagayan Design No Time to Die homage. Looking forward to the No Time to Die movie coming out next month. And Grogo is wearing my Pagayan Design PD 1649. Grogo said Mon Mothma gave Lando Calrissian a new special award ribbon with a unique color that was difficult to make. It took many attempts to get the pigment just right. Unfortunately, he didn't like the color and thought it clashed with his uniform. She was quite upset and said, Many Bothans died to bring you that decoration. Here is the watch. This is my first Phoebus on the channel. If you look at the Phoebus logo... It looks like a rather angry looking Kraken. I like the logo. I think it looks cool or at least fun. This is fun with watches and cool watches are fun. It comes in this very nice clamshell box. And it has this latch here that snaps shut. Sometimes I'm disappointed when I get a big box with my Pagani design watches because it makes it harder to sell when, when I'm done since it seriously ups the shipping cost. But I'm keeping this watch and will not be selling it after the review. I wasn't sure when I ordered it if I would sell it, but after spending time with it, there is no way I'm getting rid of it. Therefore, I can add this nice box to my collection. This model is named the Leviathan. Leviathan is a giant sea dragon that is defeated by God. So unlike the Kraken, which is the subject of Greek mythology, Leviathan is an actual manifestation of Judeo-Christian beliefs. A creature of prophecy so great that it can only be struck down by God himself. Looking at this watch is aptly named. It is a massive beast of a watch. What it lacks in its subtility, it makes up for in a bold statement that shouts from the mountaintop that it can handle any abuse that the great blue ocean can throw at its brush steel hide. There are blue, green, and black colorways. There are also black PVD coated cases with black bezels and either a gray or white dial. I purchased this watch from Long Island Watch for the MSRP of $299, minus a 5% first-time buyer discount. This watch was not sent to me, and I did not get any other special discounts. Long Island Watch is an authorized dealer of Phoebus watches, so it comes with a full two-year warranty. Plus, the watch was promptly shipped using two-day priority shipping. I do not have an affiliate link, and I get no compensation for saying this, but if you want to buy this watch, why not buy it from Long Island Watch? Mark is one of the good guys in the watch industry, and he has loaned me two watches for review when I was first starting out back when I only had 30 subscribers. The watch is 45 millimeters at the bezel, 54 millimeters lug to lug, 15 millimeters thick, has a 22 millimeter lug width, and weighs 165 grams on the supplied rubber strap. This is a big watch. It weighs more on a rubber strap than most watches weigh on steel bracelets. But even though this watch is big and bold, I wouldn't call it gaudy. It may be oversized, but it's tastefully oversized. The bezel is a 120 click unidirectional with a fully loomed ceramic insert. There is no separate loom pip for the triangle. But it doesn't need one since it is loomed. The blue color is really nice and I'm glad I chose the blue colorway. It reminds me of the blue of the Tudor Pelagos, which is my dream girl watch. The bezel has scallops around the corner, but not all the way around, so there are smooth portions of the bezel. Yeah, it looks nice, but it would have been better if the scallops went all the way around, because grip is very important. The bezel has solid action with no back play, but the action is rather stiff, and you need a really good grip to turn it. So it would be nicer if you had this grip all the way around. But it does line up nicely. This is a good bezel. Good action. It's just rather stiff. The dial is a flat matte blue. It has the Phoebus Kraken on top that says automatic and gives the depth rating. Thankfully it does not say water resistant, leaving the dial uncluttered. The indices are applied and quite thick with only the 12 o'clock being a little wider. There is a date at the three with a nice big border. It has obelisk hands with a spear tip second hand. 
And it's hard to see with my camera, but there's a red tip on the end of the second hand. The flat sapphire crystal with beveled edges has AR coating that does a great job of not reflecting the light. You can see through it easily at any angle. The crystal is awesome and as good as any crystal I've ever seen on any watch I've handled. The sign screw down crown is huge with significant crown guards. This watch is meant to survive hard knocks. The crown pops nicely when unscrewed and it has a really good thread action when screwing back down. This feels like a 500 meter crown. The case is nice and very angular. It reminds me of a Seiko Samurai case. Once again, this is a 500 meter watch, so the case is substantial. It is completely brushed with no polish whatsoever. This is a tool watch. There is a helium escape valve on the side in case it is used by saturation divers. I don't know any saturation divers personally, but I picture them all wearing Seiko tunas and making fun of the new guy showing up with his off-brand. But it's hard to imagine someone not taking this one seriously. The screw-down case back is really sharp looking and has the Phoebus cracking nicely embossed. It gives the watch brand but not the model number. 500 meters of water resistance is a good 200 meters more than the world record, so you will die before this watch does. Of course, this is nothing compared to 3,900 meters of a Rolex Deep Sea, but honestly, that is just kind of silly. If I had an unlimited budget, I would send this watch to be on the press and have them see how much abuse this watch could actually take. The movement is the ever-reliable NH35. The NH35 is a solid 3 hertz movement that hand winds and hacks and has a bi-directional rotor. There is an NH5 shortage going on at the time of this review. Earlier Phoebus used to have the Miyota 9015, which is a 4 hertz movement that would be a step above the NH35. It would have been nice if this watch had the Miyota, even if it raised the price a bit, but at $300, this watch is right on the edge of what a lot of people are willing to spend. No steel bracelet for this watch, which would have made the weight unbearable. The rubber strap is really thick and is really long with plenty of notches, and the notches are really close together. Because when a watch is this big and heavy, the perfect fit becomes essential. A little loose and it flops all over the place. This strap is designed for big wrist and there are only three holes left to make it tighter on my seven and a half inch wrist, but 12 notches to make it looser. The strap has a quick release pins for easy changes. It has a nicely signed buckle. See, it says Phoebus. And the prong is very wide and thick and Looks like it stand up to quite a bit of abuse because it, sometimes you have to do a, quite a bit of effort to get the prong in there. The strap has nibs to keep the first keeper in place and they work very well. The keeper stays for the most part. Of course, it just slid there, but when there's a strap in there, these keepers keep it. However, it, be, it can be quite difficult to put the thick strap through the keepers because the strap is so thick. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. As you can see, there's only three notches left on the rubber strap. So this is designed for big wrist. And there's additional 12 notches to make the strap bigger. Of course, it's also designed to go over a wetsuit. This is a diver's watch, even though it's not ISO 6425 certified. Here's the watch on a khaki NATO. I think that works well, too. It sits a little higher being on a NATO. But it's such a big watch that sitting high is not such a big deal. And it might be a faux pas to put a 500 meter diver watch on a leather strap, but I think it looks awesome on this vintage leather. In fact, I might just go ahead and buy myself a vintage leather strap. Because this is the one I took off of my Sterling GMT Pepsi. Here's the watch in the sunlight where the watch really stands out. The Crystal's AR coating does a wonderful job not reflecting the sunlight. 
the first time I walked from a light to a dark room, I knew the loom was awesome. So for this loom comparison, I am once again pitting against my Heimdaller monster. Like usual, we have the No Time to Die Seamaster homage for a par reference. Once we speed up the time, the Phoebus is doing quite well against the Heimdaller. The bezel loom is incredible, and I would call it better than the Heimdaller. Unfortunately, it is the hands that matter, and they are a little bit behind the Heimdaller, but not by much. It is clearly smoke in the Pagani design, and is well above par. What do I like about this watch? Well, the watch looks awesome. It is an incredible looking watch. It's solidly built, has a really nice color. Has one of the best crystals I've ever seen. Has this nice embossed case back. And the watch really earns the name Leviathan. And it has awesome loom. What are my gripes and groans? Well, the bezel action is really stiff and smooth portions of the bezel make it hard to get a good grip. It's kind of difficult to put this really thick strap through the keepers. I wish they would have had the Miyota 9015 as an option. I would have spent a little bit more to get the Miyota. And even though I'm not disparaging the loom, the hand loom is not as good as the bezel loom. And if you're going to have one loom better than the other, you should make it the hand loom. And this isn't a, really a gripe for me, but this is a really big watch. And you might not be able to wear it if you have a wrist smaller than 7 inches. Do I recommend this watch? Of course, this watch is awesome. Sure, it is huge, but it's big in all the right places. Sometimes you just want to wear a fun, substantial tank of a watch. But it isn't garish like one of those giant Invictas. Well, thank you for watching the review of this Phoebus Leviathan. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to like this video too. And I will be back with another review. Bye.